What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Bitcoin daily for another video Today we're gonna talk about something that's popping up in the chart A lot of people are asking about the Bitcoin's price and why it's going down. So we're gonna highlight uh, a couple parts in the chart and uh, Kind of give you an idea of where our heads at and what setups we're looking for to enter so uh, as we always like to do let's look at uh, the market cap and see where everything is overall today so as you guys can see bitcoin today is pretty flat and over the last seven days we're still up six and a half percent just about um ethereum also same thing pretty flat today the last 24 hours um but in the last seven days up 10 percent um xrp is down two percent and pretty flat the last week uh bitcoin cash up one percent today and up 14 percent overall on the week uh binance coin pretty flat today uh up 10 percent overall on the week uh chain link pretty flat today but up 21 percent on the week polka dot same thing down about half a percent but up eight percent on the week cardano down one and a half percent up 13% on the week and Litecoin flat but it's up 6% on the week so let's go ahead and take a look at the chart here so we're gonna just take a look today at Bitcoin chart kind of show you what we're seeing here um, so the main thing that we're looking at here is this here right so let me let me draw it out for you guys yeah let's that's fine hold on chill out I'm not drying yet so let's draw this line right here right if it'll let me boom so we have that line right there right where it was going up right the trend was going up here now the thing here is look at this one this is going down so right here this is called a bearish diversion right divergence Bear bearish divergence I'm I apologize <laughs> um, so when the when this pops up on the chart where the trend here is going up the price is going up right so if the price is going up this should also be going in the same direction so you see if i put this here if i line it up right look 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 at this part it's staying steady 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 up right but this here instead of it kind of being the same it's down 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 and then here where it's up it's more down like it's still down like it didn't go up just like over here you see how this is high and this is higher this is higher and this is lower right so that's a divergence usually what that represents is that the market is getting tired and it's kind of exhausted so it needs to take a break now when you put this together with uh, CME over here so let's go to the CME Bitcoin futures chart right if we look at a Bitcoin futures here we have this gap right here so the gap is 11,200 which also happens to be the resistance and support so what it's looking like before we can go higher we might need to come back down and fill this gap right because we it's the divergence on the chart is popping up so the divergence is popping up here it's telling us that it's exhausted at the moment and it needs to pull back and it's it's showing us that and you see how we're, we're starting to go lower and not much volume not much movement lately and then if you pair that up with right here down here the support here would be 11,200 in Bitcoin futures the gap here is 11,200 so these two things here are pointing for a pullback to 11,200 range all right so that's kind of what I'm interpreting from this now there's can be many different interpretations and as always Bitcoin could just be like we don't care what the chart says we're gonna do whatever we want and just take off right but from my interpretation of this it's showing me that due to this bearish divergence 
we are going to test this support here, which is perfectly fine, right? And when we do test that support, we're also at the same time filling up this gap here that we have. There's a gap here missing. So basically, we need to kind of fill this gap. We don't need to, but there's it there's a high chance that we fill that gap you know what i mean bitcoin likes to fill gaps like that's just something it does right so if we draw this mark this is kind of the gap right here right oh no it didn't do it let me see boom so that's more or less where that gap is that we need to to touch so that's where we're looking for um if we're looking for a pullback entry right now which is what we're looking for um we're looking to buy in this within this gap so that's within 11,200 to 11,275 right and as you can see oh no didn't mean to do that as you can see that same gap is right here so we can draw that same box more or less here 275 oh my god that's good enough right um so we're we're looking right now and we're pretty close to it but we're we've gotten pretty close to it as you can see the lows for for the last four hours here the low was 11 to 89 right so we're pretty close to it but we still haven't filled it up in the futures market like here the low here is um 11 340. so the futures has to come down and test this to fill that to be able to fill that gap um we're, we're so that's kind of where we're looking at we're, in this area is where we're looking to currently buy um and that will be a pullback buy it'll pull back and then once it bounces here this we should see this bouncing as well at the same time so um and and also here another another thing to point out it was already pretty exhausted here it was at the in the overbought territory so which is why a pullback is normal here now if we look here we've kind of pulled back to this range right where we've been this whole time right here um so it's gonna give us some time to kind of chill out and then uh enter back in um so that's pretty much it guys pretty short video today just wanted to point you guys i wanted to point that out for you guys wanted to show you guys what a divergence was bearish divergence um the same thing works the opposite in the opposite direction there's bullish divergences as well when um like if this is going down and this is going up so um that's the main thing that we're currently looking at um we're looking for a pullback buy right now we're not looking to enter up here or anywhere where it currently is currently looking for a pullback buy um so if you guys have any questions about this just let me know oh also another thing to note here Remember this ascending support here that started in March? If we stretch this out, right? This kind of falls in line with that pullback, right? It falls in line with that zone. And then falls in line with the support, 11,200 support. And it falls in line with the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level. So those are three different um, things that would support it on this drop, on this pullback. So I am, that's where I'm looking to buy right now. That 11,200 support is my entry. All right, guys, if you guys have any questions, make sure to drop it in the bottom in the comments. Um, make sure to like the video, drop a comment, and... Um, Hit us, hit us with the follow, man. We're trying to hit 2,000 this month, hopefully. Um, and we want, we need your help. Um, we're going to keep, continue putting out all the free content. We just need you guys to help us out a little bit. 
by giving us a follow and giving us a like. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Peace and love as always.